and Sophie welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome so for today's video we are going to be doing a basic ball handling tutorial I know I've covered the basics with most other apparatus and a lot of you guys have been requesting a ball tutorial so here it is <laughs> we're just going to be going over some of the basic and fundamental movements with ball for anyone new to the apparatus or if you're just looking for a refresher of the basics so you don't need to be warmed up at all for this tutorial you just need your ball and a little bit of space so let's get started Let's just start off with learning how to hold the ball. You want to hold it with your arm out straight and the ball should just be resting on your hand. You want to sort of cup the ball with your hand and keep your fingers together. You don't want to be gripping it too hard or having your fingers separated. So we're just going to start off nice and simple with some bounces. With the ball in your right hand, you'll just push the ball in a downwards motion and bounce it on the ground and then just catch it in the same hand. And we'll do this 10 times with the right hand. You want to keep the ball close to you when you're doing this and again make sure the ball is resting in your hand rather than grabbing it. And just a reminder, when you're going to catch the ball, you want to almost absorb the fall. Rather than lifting your hand up as the ball is coming down, you'll bring it down to make for a smoother catch. And this goes for any sort of catch that we're going to do with the ball. And now we're just switching hands and we'll do 10 bounces with the left hand. Up next, we'll just work on these little flips around your hand. So essentially, you're giving the ball a little toss and your hand is going to be rotating around the ball. So yeah, your hand's going to be going around the ball from the inside to the outside. So if the ball's in your right hand, it'll flip from the left to the right side. I know the demonstration I was doing there is not the greatest. It's probably easier to see it when I'm doing it full speed. But you always want to keep your hand in contact with the ball when you're doing this little flip. It doesn't need to be like a throw. So we're just going to try this one out 10 times. And now the same thing with the left hand. This time your hand should be going from the right side to the left side of the ball during the flip. And again, we'll just do 10 of these. Now let's try to reverse it. With the ball back in your right hand, we'll try to do the flip outwards. So this time your hand, your hand will go from the right to the left side of the ball and we'll do 10 reps again. Now this variation is not typically used, we tend to do the flips inwards more often, but this is still a good practice for coordination. And now switching back to the left hand, we'll just do another 10 reps here with your hand going from the left to the right side of the ball. We're now going to move on to some simple rolls. So what we're gonna be doing here is first put the ball up against your chest and then roll it out onto your arms in front of you. Try to keep your arms nice and straight when you're doing these rolls to give the ball a flat surface to roll across. We'll do this half roll five times and then we'll do it five times rolling back and forth. I do have a couple videos that focus specifically on more advanced rolls and masters that incorporate rolls 
you can check those out in the iCard in the top right corner of the screen, or you can find them on my channel under the Ball Tutorials playlist. Now with the ball between your hands in front of you, you're going to roll the ball across your arms and down your back, and then you'll catch it with your hands behind your back. And I forgot to show it here, but after that you'll roll the ball back up your back and to back to your hands. And if that's too difficult for you, you can do this modified version where you start with the ball behind your neck and just roll it down your back. But whichever version you're doing, we'll do 10 rolls heel here, alternating back and forth. With these rolls, it's important to lean forward so the ball has a nice flat surface to roll across and it also gives you more time to react. If you're standing up straight, the ball's probably just going to fall on the ground. And when you're rolling the ball back up to your hands, try to push it with an equal force from both hands so that the ball rolls straight and doesn't fall off to the side. The next roll is going to be from hand to hand, so your arms are going to be out to the sides and the ball should roll from one hand to the other. Now this one is a little bit trickier since the ball is only rolling across one arm instead of two, so it may take a little bit more practice. You feel free to break it down into two steps like I'm showing here, but we'll just repeat this ten times, alternating directions each time. Up next, we're going to work on some figure eights, but let's just put the ball down first to learn the movement. Starting with your right hand, you'll turn it inwards until your arm is flat, and then untwist it outwards and above your head to return to your starting position. And you can do the same thing in reverse, so starting with the big circle going inwards and finishing with the small circle going outwards. It's kind of hard to explain this one, but imagine that you're drawing the number 8 with your hand movement. And uh, that's why it's called the figure eight. So we're going to do 5 figure 8s in each direction, starting with the first variation I showed you guys. And when you're doing these figure 8s, it's important to keep your palms facing up the entire time so that the ball doesn't fall. And also you want to avoid grabbing the ball as much as possible, as I mentioned it should be more so resting in your hand. And now let's reverse it. Also, you don't have to copy what I'm doing with my free arm, just do whatever comes naturally to you. Now we'll switch hands and we'll, we'll just try out the same thing with the left hand. Again, five figure eights the regular way and then five times reversed.
For the last movement here, you'll hold the ball in your bent arm and just pop it out by quickly extending your arm. This one is pretty straightforward, but it can be a good preparation for throws with the ball, so make sure to absorb the fall when you're catching the ball like I mentioned earlier. So we'll just do this 10 times with the right hand and then switch to the left hand. And now just repeating the same thing in the left hand, we'll do 10 reps here. And that's it. Great job. And that is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys found this helpful. Comment down below if you tried out this tutorial and let me know how you did because I'd love to know. Also comment down below if you have any tutorial requests because I'd be more than willing to make any of them. Anyways, don't forget to give this video a like and comment down below as it would really help me out. Also don't forget to subscribe, turn on my post notifications and all that stuff. And I'll see you guys next week with a brand new video. Bye!